Is it going to show up? Are we uh, just going to be playing a black screen today? There we go. Here we are. Back. And Hirschfeld. And hopefully doing... Hopefully doing some excellent goose hunting today. Trying to make a little bit more moolah for uh, buying some uh, tents and tripods for our uh, great one extravaganza. But, uh, but yeah, we made quite a bit of money last time. Though it doesn't really show it. <laughs> uh, I think it's because we bought some stuff as well. But yeah, top notch. 70,000 right now. We'll see what we have at the uh, the end of the halfway point. Who all do we have today? I'm excited to see because the chat's been going crazy. Charlie, Draw and Rocco, Palmer Gaming, Stuff, Carson Peters, hello. Caden Dickinson, uh, Jackson Zollinger, Zachary Folkerts, uh, Dakota Salmon, Luke Strong, Levi's Young. A pro gamer 2.0 Tantan the Muffin Man's in the house. How's it going there, Tantan? Brown the Master, all I want for Christmas is 1k subs. Finally made it to a stream. Well, glad you did. Goodness gracious. Uh, Caden Dickinson just got done with fishing. Right on. I wish I could say the same. Michael Myers is back. Horror, the horror man himself. Uh, we're just a little bit shy of, uh, of, of Halloween, aren't we? One, only a few days away now. Like... Yeah, well, we, uh, 11 days or something away or something like that. I'm not really sure. Uh, Michael Waters is here. Fishing Kid, Rudy Parks, Amanda Timmons. Remember to like. That's the way to be. That's the way to be. Are they called? The Cabela's Dangerous Hunts are the call of the wild. Oh, my gosh. That's a terrible, it's a terrible comparison. I have so many great memories 
growing up playing Cabela's Dangerous Hunts. The first one, mind you, not anything after that. I hated it after the first one. But uh, but yeah, I had great memories playing that game. But uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild, I think, takes the cake as far as being more modern and more stuff to do. Remember, it's Bryce. Oh my gosh, Bryce Bendick is in the house, and I'll try my best at remembering that again, man. Uh, Jay Gaming again. Nolan plays. Rob Dog. Chris plays. Victoria Torsia. Uh, Victor Torsia. I don't. I just added an E after Victoria. Victor Torsia. Right on. Casapesca. Andrew is here. Rocco Palmer, do you have Instagram? We do indeed have Instagram. BZHub underscore gaming Instagram. Jonathan Stelly, I think we're at what? 908? 908 followers on Instagram right now? Doing okay. Doing okay on in Instagram. All right. You are the first leaker. The fierce leaker. Very nice, appreciate it. I will say, if we, you know, if we do get to a hundred likes today, I'll show everyone my horrible tan line that I got from the weekend. Oh my god! Oh, it's so bad, it's so bad. Uh, but uh, you know, a hundred likes is a long way away. I don't even think we got to what, like seventy last time. I don't even think we got to seventy last Monday. So uh, that's a that's a ways off. It's just like these geese, they happen to be a ways off as well. Where the heck are they? Come on, geese. Maybe we need to honk for him. We need to honk? Yeah, you like that? Honk, honk. Oh, yeah, you like that? You should do more fishing plan streams. I love them. You know, if I honestly had more time to do more streaming, totally would. Unfortunately, I'm just not. I just don't have time coming out my sleeves and you know I work during the day I come home and I either uh, edit a video or or I stream for all of you so you have to choose do you like watching my videos or do you like me streaming because the more I stream the less videos I put out and if you like the inner life fishing videos that I put out as well then you know then I can't go out and do any of that because I'm editing videos and I'm streaming videos so it's just you know you gotta find a balance in all this stuff, and I wish I could do more, but I honestly just don't have enough time in the day. You shot your first deer in real life yesterday. Zachary Folker, it's well, congratulations. Very cool. Samuel Trottier. Trottier? Trottier? Hi. Hello. You love BZ Hub with a passion. <laughs> it's a great name. What's What sort of passion? Like a passion fruit passion? Come on, goose. Come on, gooses. We're not. We don't have all day. We only have till 8:30 p.m. Central, and then we gotta go fishing. Hey, goose, geeses. By the way, that's a reference to a movie. Who knows it? Who knows it? They'll get a ever-loving um, uh, love from me. <laughs> if you can tell me what that reference is. <laughs> Hit that like button. We got to hit the 129. I know, right? Should we uh, should we look? Last time we got a level five, and I still can't believe it. As many geese as I've shot in this game, I still can't believe that I just now got a level five. But hey, that is a okay. Doesn't look there's a level three. That's as close as we're gonna get. Probably gonna get hit up by a second group as well. It's how it always happens. You finally get your first flock and you're so excited. You take that shot and then you notice that other flock in the corner of your eye and you're like, gosh, dang it. So I can beat two 100 pound carp unless you already caught it. Um, no, 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 we have not caught the 100 pound carp. We need to get back on that though. Get back on the 100 pound carp grind, by golly. All right, we got the Norden. We got the Norden today, everyone. Gonna wait till these other ones in the back come into range here. Actually, I think we might. I think. We oh no! 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 Unless these ones take off. Gosh dang it! This is always how it happens. Nope.
Reload, he knew. I don't know where they all went. Oh, it was a little far out there. That's how it always happens, man. Right when you're about to shoot, then the second flock starts to come in. Urgh. That's frustrating. It's okay, we got a few. We should have just stuck to our original plan. We shouldn't have been greedy, but we were. Then we died. For the win! In Hawaii, my legs got so burnt I couldn't get out of bed. Oh, you're talking about burnt, bro? You're talking about your legs getting burnt, bro? That's that's no fun, by the way. But hey, uh, I've got... I, I think I can top that. But we have to reach 100 likes first. Hey, look at that! I'll take it. I'll take it. Shot your first wood duck and goose in real life. Bryce, fantastic. Well done. Beans is here. How's it going, Beans? Do you watch Tim Wells? I, I guess not. I can't think of who Tim Wells is off the top of my head, so I would assume not. What do you think? Is there going to be a level 5 in this group? Level 3. Nope, no level fives. You love me, bees. Aw, thanks, Danielle. Appreciate it. I love everyone. Yelly. Everybody love everybody. What's your favorite map on the Hunter Call of the Wild? Verhanga Savannah. For the win. My favorite map. Alright, you ready for this? Bo Rush. Bo Rush. Bo Rush. Bo Rush! Bo Rush! Oh-wee! Did you like that, Goose? Did you like it? How about that one? Stop you in your tracks, bro. Oh, you thought you were gonna fly today. <laughs> Flight just got cancelled! Get up! Come on! This is nice. This is great. I love hanging out with all of you. This is good. We're all chilling, shooting some geese, man. That's all. That's what this is all about. Making that money. We don't even know how much money we've made. I've, I've been, we've just been shooting stuff and getting back in the blind. We haven't picked up anything yet. Cobra chickens. Megan's here. How's it going, Megan? Rocco Palmer followed you on Instagram. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Yeah, we post some pretty fun stuff on there every so often. For this move, it's shot for half an hour and called a lot. Ooh, good luck, Zachary. Those, uh, those darn moose, they can go on. Moose's maces go on for a while, so hopefully you find it. No, if we're not on when the stream first started, I'm so lucky my friend told you. Oh, that is a good friend. It is a good friend. Well, for those of you who haven't seen it already, like I said before, if we reach 100 likes, I get, I'll show everyone my amazing tan line. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. It's the worst tan line I've ever had in my entire life. Um, but we have to reach 100 likes, you know. It's a small price to pay. It's a small price, so. For, uh, for, for a good 5 to 15 to an hour to multiple days to a week of, uh, of being made fun of for a horrible tan line, so. <laughs> Is there a way to email Fishing Planet about adding maps just like Saltwater Fishing Spot near me? Uh, unfortunately not, Jake Gaming. They're really not great about, uh, their whole community side of things. I mean, I've even tried, um, talking with them about certain things, and sometimes they get back to me, and other times they just completely do not even recognize that I sent them an email, so, so, uh, so yeah. Unfortunately, they're just, they're just not great about the whole community aspect of it. Because I was doing something. Well, Chris plays. We stream every Monday and Wednesday. Get it in your noggin. Lock it in with a key. Then lock it with it with with the key. Then I drop lock and pop it or something like. That. I have no idea. Wish me luck with deer hunting in real life. Well, good luck with deer hunting in real life, Lucas. 
Your legs were like deep red. Oh my gosh. That's not good at all. Hi, you're new to the channel and I said that you were underrated, Brotatio. Brotate. No! Oh shoot. Didn't mean to whistle. Don't don't listen to that whistle. It doesn't mean anything. What the frick just happened? That is a full flock right there. I don't know. Kind of caught us with our pants down, didn't they? Till Tim Wells is a spear hunter. Huh. Well, anytime I've ever found a spear, it was like in a pawn shop or anything. So if I was going to go hunting for spears, that's where I would start. Start in a pawn shop, move on from there. There's just not too many spears about in these days. You know, if this was uh, Lord of the Rings or something, I'd say, you know, go check out Rohan or something like that. They might have some spears on hand. But, uh... Get that guy right there. That one's pretty interesting. What up, bro? Didn't expect that, did you? We're never gonna get that one. Seven, that's not too bad. Got seven in that little flock. Brown hybrid. It's pronounced moose, not meese. Uh, I think I know a thing or two about meese, all right? Obviously, they're a flock of meese. I'm joking, of course. I don't know if you know this, but every once in a while I tell a joke on this channel. Um. I know a lot of you know, you know, you think of me as a very stern character who does not like to mess around. And that's completely true, you know. I, I, I do not like to tell jokes and stuff like that. Do we scare these guys? They're alert, but they're not defensive. Actually, been doing okay with the flocks. I uh, might have messed that one up. You hate when you randomly whistle? Ride X or die? What did you miss? A bunch of geese. And evidently, these geese. Since they're not turning around. Watch another level 5 be in this group. Nope. They are defensive, though. Now they're calm. Alright, we gotta keep our head on a swivel. We've been having just flock after flock over here. Is watching the stream. Oh, Bryce and Jax will ride on. Is pronounced Brotato. Oh, well, I don't think the E is is needed though, because Potato is just P O T A T O. Potato. So Brotato would just be B R O T A T O. You're basically swapping the P with a B R. You know what I mean? But I like the name. Jax, Jax and Bryce. Jax and Bryce. That could almost be a, uh, a name itself. Jax and Bryce. That was a weird sound. I think it's the chainsaw. I just can't hear it with the music. 
jumping in here. All right. A lot of honking and bangs. New subscriber, YouTube Wolf Boy, right on. Appreciate it. Hello, hello. Easton is here. How's it going, Easton? Cold steer steel spears, and he makes his own. I think you would like watching him. Maybe. I don't know. I like watching catfish and carp, and he's made some like spear fishing. You know, stabbing spears to catch fish. I've seen him do that. Um, but I don't really watch a lot of people on YouTube, so my time is limited. My shrimp are missing. I hope they're just hiding inside a crack on the dirt floor. Oh, they're totally all hiding. My little brother just got a baby shrimp the other day. He is like super excited about it. He had no idea it existed. And then all of a sudden we found this little tiny like shrimp that was only like this big. And we're like, whoa, where did he come from? So it was kind of, it started, it startled us. Started watching your channel a couple days ago. Chris plays appreciate it. Well, hopefully it isn't boring yet. We have plenty of videos to watch. How many do we have? 400 some? You have plenty of videos to watch. <laughs> How is your day? My day's quite well. Thank you. You got a brown hybrid the other day too? I know, right? They're fairly common. That's why I wish we would get another one, but I don't know if they have another one. Do they have a gray and they have a brown? I'm not really sure. Microlangelo. Per that's, uh, that's hilarious, Beans. That's a good one. Mad Chops Gaming. What happened to Fishing Planet? Fishing Planet is in the second half of the stream. Have you shot anything yet? Absolutely. We started at 70,000 and now we're at 83,000. So we're doing okay. Well, we might have found the, um, the morning lull. We've shot up all the flocks and now it might be a little bit till we see more flocks. Unfortunately. Hmm. Hmm. Hide your name in the name. Oh, is that what's going on? I understand. I understand. I'm with you now, bro Tate. Oh. All 48 shrimp. They're all hiding in a crack. You're doing good. Oh, thank you, Easton. Appreciate it. Chasing level 5 mule deer with a bow. With a bow, Alexander. Go get him. Go get him, bro. Tell you what, what do you think we should do? It has slowed down. I don't know if we'll see one for another 15 minutes or so. I think what we should do is curveball. Cur curveball. Do we have all the geese picked up, by the way? What do you think? Curve ball. Let's um. Let's see here. So we have four uh, camo tents. So let's buy a few more. Four camo tents. We'll buy some more. I guess five camo tents, and we'll buy six. Six camo tents, and then what, uh, as far as tripods go, what color should we get? Just, uh, the regular camo ones? So we don't have any right now. So let's go ahead and get, um... Oh, conifer or timber? That's the question. Conifer, timber. Ooh, it's hard to say. Conifer, timber. Let's go conifer. Let's buy three of these. Leaving us with a tight $3,000. Okay, top notch. There's been some foxes going crazy over here. Barking away and whatnot. Oh, there it is. Well, it was seven fox too. Not too shabby, eh? All right, this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking with the the geese being low, let's go place some tents on our uh, on our uh, Leighton Lakes map, and then we'll come back and, and shoot some more geese before the uh, before we have to switch over to Fishing Planet. Hopefully, 
Subbed to the channel yesterday after I found you because you play the Hunter and Planet Fishing, which I play, and you are a clean YouTuber. Aw. Well, certainly try to anyway, so good deal. Speared a small bull shark on an airboat. Okay. <laughs> Why would you do that? I don't get it. All right, here we go. We're bringing up the cool map. Everyone remembers the cool map, huh? Everyone? Everyone, school's now in session, so listen up. Here we go. This is our map of need zone. Whitetail need zones, everyone. So, you know what we're going to do. We're going to go along and uh, place tents where needed to uh, get some of these need zones. Right? Right? Okay, so, let's go place a tent at uh, one of the best need zones we found for Whitetail. There were tons of them over here. So we'll go place one over here and uh, and then we'll start placing some other ones. How about that? How about that? Got to go. Good luck hunting. By the way, Wicked Beard. Oh, thank you so much, Bryce. Take care, man. All right. So we are here now. The need zone itself is right here. So I'm thinking we set up the tent like right over here or something like that. Maybe, maybe right over there. Let's go. Let's go. We'll also see if we see any animals on the way there. I'll, I'll uh, swap out the old shotgun for a rifle. How much, uh, oh, we're very close to the top. Don't need that, don't need that, don't need that. That, that cleared up a lot of space right there, okay. Top notch, top notch. Let's throw the old uh, FL Sporter in here. FL Sporter, some 303s, if you don't mind. Where are you? Do we already have? Okay, we already have them in. Never mind. And we already have a scope. Good deal. FL Sporter, let's go. 303 and a right. Oh, that is not a rifle scope. There we go. Nice. Let's go. Let's go get some. Go get some deer pepper steak. Well, good deal. Sounds fun. Playing Fishing Planet right now, good deal, Carson. We'll be there here in half an hour, or just a little bit more. Gray, light, gray, leucistic, brown hybrid, melanistic, uh, I think one more type, I can't recall. Well, I would definitely go for a melanistic one. I could get a melanistic one. Ricky Bobby, Ricky Bobby. Love the channel and you are really underrated, Brotato. Thank you so much. Well, we're getting up there. We're slowly but surely getting up there. I made it to the live. Fitz made it to the live. Good deal. Now it's a true live stream. Fitz is here. Good deal. I'm glad. Maya McIntosh. Hi. Is it Macin Is it pronounced Macintosh or is it Mickintosh? Like how it looks. I, I assume it's Macintosh. Today, caught your first grass pickerel on Fishing Planet. Chris, way to go. Man, the first pickerel I caught, I was so excited about because we don't have those in Kansas. So when I caught it, I was like, wow, that's cool. I love catching fish that we don't have in my st like my home state. So uh, that was really magical. And now you catch like a bazillion of them and it's not so special, but that first one was still special to me. Have you seen Squish? I, I have talked to Squish lately, but I haven't seen her. About to go, I'm sorry, I will come back and watch it later that it's not live because we're going downstairs to watch a movie. Ooh, well, fun. Hopefully it's a good movie. I am a movie dude. I love movies, so I don't blame you. Don't blame you for wanting to watch the movie, man. There's an Elkerton. What's up, Elkerton? How you doing there, bud? Should we should we snipe an Elkerton right here? Was hoping he would inch forward just ever so slightly for that second shot to hit the mark, but he did not, so we like shot him in the neck or something. Go pick him up and then we'll go place our tent again. You have returned. Megan is back. Good deal. Hey, what's the best way to level up in Fishing Planet? Adam 21, EESS, bro. EESS. We actually had uh, two live streams where we went over EESS and my, like, uh, how I approach hunting. Both of those are all four of those places. So, um, yeah. 
E-E-S-S tattooed on your forehead, never forget it. Except you'll want to like do it like reflected, that way when you look in the mirror, it'll actually say E-E-S-S instead of like C backwards or something like that. Who likes fishing? Good question. If you like fishing or hunting, hit the like button. I bet we'll get a few. I bet a few people here like those. Ride or die, I'm on fishing plan about to go to Weeping Willows. Ooh, I do love some Weeping Willows. <clears throat> we might, you know, we might go to Weeping Willows on Wednesday. That sounds fun. Is the time different in North Carolina than where you are? It is indeed. Time zones, man. Hashtag. Where are we going fishing today? We're going fishing at St. Croix for monster blue catfish. Monster blue catfish with a capital mon stir finally found that moose hey good deal Zachary you'll catch the live stream on Wednesday as well hey right on right on man Ooh, white tail track uh, why is there a white tail track here that's not right what super confused right now Found it while going for a deer I'll tattoo ESS -E to me don't tempt me <laughs> e dot e dot e no 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 that's messed up e dot e dot s dot s dot everyone will not know what it means <laughs> And then when they ask you about it, you'll be like, oh, it's from a fishing game and it stands for Emerald Lake. And then, you know, you got to go to Everglades and then St. Croix and then San Joaquin. And they'll be like, OK, cool. Not the craziest thing I've heard as an origin story for a tattoo. Shockingly. So good deal. Yeah. E.S.S. Right on. Your last Fishing Planet streams helped me so much learning stuff about the game and I downloaded the Hunter Call of the Wild again because of you and you helped me with the beginner series for that. Well, bro, you make me sound like I'm just helping you all over the place. That make me sound like a very helpful person. I, I dig it. <laughs> I certainly try to help, but I never know if I do. <laughs> Got the tattoo, I never had less than 10k. Never had less. Never had less. If you want to level up fast, use a barbless rig and go to EESS. Barbless rig. Barbless rig, EESS. That can be the, the one line below EESS. EESS, use a barbless rig, can be the full tattoo. But I'm on Xbox. Aw, oh, J Gaming. Gosh dang. Darn Xboxes. Darn Xboxes. Oh, this is a Christmas song. Fantastic. I love when they sneak in Christmas songs into the playlist. It's always fantastic. Wish I could get a little... Hello, BZ. I haven't seen you in a while. Good to be back. GSM. It is. It is good to be back. Glad you're back. It's good to see. You already have a seven-legged cicada? A seven... seven-legged cicada. But why? I mean, cicadas are cool. Don't get me wrong. But what is the what's the story behind the seven legs? Well, 25 fishing plan. I'm at Everglades Bass Farm. It sounds like you're doing great, then, man. Don't change a thing. You're you're rocking life right now. Is that some up there? Nope. Just a leaf or something. I was eating delicious deer because you're poor. Oh no no no. Never poor if you have delicious deer on hand, eh? Do you remember? I remember everyone, GSM. But I do remember. Still, Mr. Hindsight, it is whatever you want it to be. <laughs> but spotted a level 3 teal, right on. Joshu Nelson Josu? How do I say it? I don't think I've ever seen that name before. Josu? 
Is it pronounced Josu or Joshu? Like Joshua, but without the uh? Or is it Joshua? And the E just makes an uh sound. I'm very curious right now. You have to tell me or else my head is going to explode. All right, so the deer usually end up right over there, right across from here. So what I'm thinking is we set up right over here, maybe. Right here, set up the tent right here. Oh, that is not it. Jeez Louise, what is it? Zero. There we go. And then we'll set up the tripod like right here. Right on the other side of this. Then we'll have a perfect a perfect zoom onto this area. If any if any great ones decide to uh, populate over yonder. We'll have a perfect look at them. Good deal. All right, that's one down. Let's circle it so we don't forget. We have one tent. I'll have to. Uh, I'll actually have to make a. I'll have to do it like a tent. A tent logo. It's gonna be a little uh, little arrow with a circle around it. And that's gonna be my tent logo. All right, now we need to figure out there is another location just south of here. Here, that's black-tailed deer. Here we go, white-tailed deer. So let's go maybe around here, maybe? I don't know, I need to go somewhere around there. Go put up something around there. This is why you don't get tattoos while under the influence. <laughs> a, uh, a silent reminder, eh? <laughs> Got your first spot of bass and fishing planet. Well, right on. That's a good start. Then you just need to catch a bunch of them and you'll be all set. When is the Halloween season in fishing planet? You know, the actual Halloween season in fishing planet doesn't start till like the very end of fishing planet. If anything, I think it actually it actually goes beyond Halloween. I think it goes into November. If I remember right, um, but our monster series will will be throughout October. We might play some scary games here and then to keep up the whole BZ Hub Halloween extravaganza, because I like me some scary games for Halloween, one of my favorite holidays. Um, um, I don't. I was gonna try and do something cool there, like preach or something. I have no idea what that means though, so I'm just gonna act like that didn't happen. Um, but yeah, really looking forward to it. Wish you could donate, but your parents won't let- Hey, don't worry about that, man. I just appreciate you being here. That's enough donation for me. You're donating your time to moi, and I appreciate it. You will be here for Wednesday stream, hopefully. Well, right on, bro Tato. Appreciate it. That'll be fun. I love seeing repeated names in the chat. It makes me remember people better, and then, you know, we can kind of keep a conversation throughout the streams. I always like that. If I send a super chat in the next week or two... Ooh, Zachary. Whoa. I'm, that sounds good to me, man. You do you, bro. No pressure. No pressure. Don't be so... I'll be back in eight minutes. Hopefully I don't miss much, okay? Good deal gaming stuff. Sounds good. We'll try to keep it to a minimum in this next eight minutes. 48 likes, can we hit 50? You act like, uh, you sound like a, um, oh, what's the... Auction? One of those auctioneers or whatever? We have 25. Do I hear 26,000? 26,000, 26,000. To the lady in the red! That's what you sound like. 48 likes, can we hit 50? Can we hit 50? Do I hear 50 likes? Fishing planets, ESO, go crazy. Go crazy? Go crazy. Fishing planet, fishing planet is in 21 minutes. Counting down, obviously Mondays are half and a half days. And I can't put 
on YouTube that I'm playing the game for half the time and I'm playing another game for the other half of the time. So I can either choose Fishing Planet or The Hunter. I don't have... I don't have a third option to choose two games, so... So people come in all the time and they're like, why aren't you playing the game that's listed? And it's like, well... I was playing it, or I'm going to be playing it. A TL is a 4.6 is a diamond. Whoa, Alexander Pop, fantastic. Congrats, man. What level are you on Fishing Planet? What three tips would you give any new player? Oh gosh, we're level 59 at the moment. Three tips, three tips. One, watch the BZ Hub beginner series. It's fantastic, it's got some laughs in it, and I think it's it's great. Fantastic. Um, number two. Uh, don't sell any of your rods early on. Just, if you run out of room in your locker, think about deleting things, but do not sell them to buy something else. Something always inevitably goes wrong. Just don't do it. Just avoid the whole catastrophe. Nine to 12 pound jackrabbit? Goodness gracious. Um, and number three, what would be my third tip? EESS, probably. Stick to ESS, but also just enjoy the game. Don't go crazy about wanting to grind and level up as fast as possible. Enjoy the game, play every place that you get, and just have fun. Because that's it's a game, you know? It's not who can get to the end faster, it's just enjoy the game and have fun. What's up, BZ Zoot74? What's going on with you, Zoot? Tigernet Boilies are doing some work, are they? It is kind of interesting to hear about Tigernut Boilies. Usually when I hear about tiger nuts, they're just by themselves. They're just tiger nuts. But uh, tiger nut Boily, ooh, mixing it up. All right, so, ooh. That would probably be the need zone over there. Is it? Oh, it's a little further down. Oh well. I'm thinking we should put up a tent over here. And then we'll put up a tripod over yonder. And that way, when we see them on the opposite side of the lake, we'll just be able to uh, strike them down with the fury of BZ Hub. Obviously. Have I ever smoked a deer jerky? We've uh, dehydrated deer jerky. I'm not sure if we've smoked it though. I know a friend whose dad does that and it was always amazing, but I can't remember if we ever did it. Some smaller whitetail, but still fun to see. It's good to see that they're still over here. Good deal. Okay, I'm gonna put down another tent here. Tent icon. All right, we've got 20 minutes left. I think that's enough time to place one more tent maybe, and then we gotta go. Then we gotta go uh, elsewhere. We gotta go back to the geese to get, get a, a little bit, a few more geese in. Okie dokie, let's see here. Got a tent there. That should be good there. Um, we have a tent here. We have a tent there. Okie dokie. We also have a tent here. For no reason. We actually have a f a quite a few tents where we need them to be, which is pretty crazy. Huh, okay. 
Well, really the only tent that we could probably put up at this point. That would be attainable, I guess. Eh, we could go. But to be quick about it, we only have, you know what, I don't think we have enough time. We'll just have to leave it for the next time. Let's, let's, let's go shoot some more geese. Oh. Sold to the lady in the long white dress. <laughs> All right, let's move back to, nope, that's not Hirschfeld. Hopefully get some more geese in the last uh, 15 minutes here. Able to make a stream, usually get off work a half hour into them, and then by the time I got home, it's over. Oh, it's no fun. What is this game? This is the Hunter Call of the Wild. It's a fun, fun hunting game. Hunting a simulator sort of have fun game. Who disliked someone who was wanting Fishing Planet, evidently? It's usually what it is. Oh, we only have eight shells. Holy schmoly. Let's get some more. 20 gauge bird shot. All right. Should be good now. Hello, Terrano Kings in the house. Good to see you. First time watching live out in Emerald Lake Farming Wall. I broke your first two, your best two rods. Really set me back. Oh, no doubt the room. That's no fun at all. You know, I, I would have to say that maybe I've just been lucky because I have never broken a rod um, in the game. I think the one time, I think we might have broken one rod and it was honestly just to see what would happen because I'd never done it before. And it was lackluster. It just told me that the rod broke and that was it. Um, I thought something cool would happen, but nothing cool happened. Forgot to ask, how am I today? I'm doing quite well, thank you for asking. I would be happy if we saw some more geese before the stream switched over to Fishing Planet, but we'll just have to see. Hmm, hmm. You were playing Fishing Planet an hour ago, right on. What's that about? Oh yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. You were playing Fishing Planet, you're new and you got level nine in one day. Well, fantastic, Zoot. Sounds like you're playing pretty hard, good deal. It uh, it certainly gets a little bit more difficult to level up, but it just gets more fun. As you get larger fish and better equipment, there's so much equipment in the game, which I'm one of those people, you know, I'm always thinking about like, ooh, how do I get the next best thing? So uh, if you like that sort of stuff, Fishing Planet's fantastic. Never turning your back to the dehydrator after smoked turkey. You're never turning back to the dehydrator after smoke. Ah, I got you. Okay. Eric Davis playing Fisher Fish Planer. Planer? What? Gotta go. See you easy on Wednesday. GSM. Sounds good, man. Jackson Fisher, what's poppin'? We are currently waiting for geese. Hopefully we see some in the next 13 minutes before we have to switch over to uh, Fishing Planet. But we will see. That kind of sounds like a goose. Am I going crazy? Thought I heard a goose. But I don't see any geese. Marcus Wong's in the house. How's it going? Play the hunter. I'm back. What did you miss? Bryce is back. Not a whole lot. We, uh, oh, there, uh, there they are. Goodness. I had thought I heard geese, but I just couldn't see them. I didn't know where they were. A perfect V. The flying V. Turn this way. Turn around. Bro, this cannot be. So just watch, this is the only flock of geese we see the entire 15 minutes or so. At least we had some quick, quick little shower there and now it's over. Bro, are you serious? What losers? 
cannot believe that. They just stood me up. Ugh! I feel so rejected. You need gilded cowfish? Well, right on, Jackson. Have you ever played Resident Evil? Uh, little bits and pieces. I've never played it the full way through, anyway. Trough them off. Timothy Descoteau's in the house. How's it going? On console, when I'm using the Goose Call, I cannot shoot with the new shotgun from Mexico. Interesting. You know, the new shotgun from Mexico had its own hiccups when it first came out, so I'm not, I'm not really sure. Um, it was the same thing, you know, you couldn't shoot with it, but it wasn't connected to the Goose Collar. It was usually that you had shot another gun before it, so you couldn't use it after that. But uh, doing anything like sleeping or like fast traveling usually got it to stop. Why doesn't this spinner go on the casting rod? There's some geese. Yeah, it's it's little things like that that can kind of make Fishing Planet a little difficult when you start out. Alrighty, here we go. Trying to get a nice busk. Well, if you get the Goose DLC, if you, or if you have the Goose DLC, you'll never be poor again. It's impossible to be poor when you can hunt geese. And I'll show you why. Because right now I have $2,400. We're gonna hunt some geese here. But keep that in mind, $2,400. Brody! Thank you for the sub, Brody! Can you kill a buck? You can kill a buck. Unfortunately, we're uh, we're hunting for geese right now, which don't have bucks. <laughs> can you hunt for whitetails? Oh, we just set up a bunch of stuff for whitetails, but we don't have any tripods yet. Oh, they're like perfect shooting range right now. Just gonna wait till we get these last ones in. How did we miss that one so many times? I'm gonna forget it and go on to these ones. Oh my gosh. Evidently I've lost all of my good shooting right now. Man, we were getting them one after another though. Now they're now they're too far away. There's one just dropped. Goodness gracious. We struggle bust on that one. Can't believe we, we missed that first one twice. Ooh, a musk deer, or a uh, roe deer. Goodness gracious. Level one. Geese! Oh, jeez. Watch you every day. Oh, thank you. Well, I appreciate it greatly. Here we go. They're gonna land. Hopefully we can make up for our, uh, our misses that... That uh, last flock. BC, did you ever play Cabela's Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts? I, I did indeed. We have an entire uh, playlist of playing that game. Hunting all the big ones. The biggins. You're gonna hunt geese for a rare? Right on. Your gun looks cool. Oh, thanks. All right. Oh, geez. This guy's gonna scare everyone away. 
Watch, he's going to take off and scare everything away. drop dead we just got nine yeah there, there we go there we go okay here we go one two three that's brown hybrid too gold brown hybrid is that four i lost count already <laughs> five six Seven. Oh, geez. Finally back. What'd you miss? A whole bunch of uh, geese. Finally. Goodness gracious. Not sure if we're going to get this flock in or not. We got five minutes till fishing planet, though, so we got time. If you were a fish, what species would you be and why? Ooh, good question. Um, what would I be and why? I think, uh, I think just not, 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 I would like to say a Goliath tiger fish, but I, I'm just, I'm not a super tall guy. I'm pretty normal, normal average height. So I'm, I'm, I would just go with regular tiger fish. Just, uh, gay, I'm so, oh, uh, don't even try. I'm so, I'll be furious with you. Be so angry. No, I, I have no idea. Maybe just a big old carp, misunderstood. Big old, big old thing, gets fat. Um, that was number eight, right? Um, People get them and they're like, oh, they're so pretty, you know, just like me. You know, they see, they see, they see me and they're like, oh, so pretty, so pretty, you know? So just, just like, maybe I'd just be a carp. Maybe I'd just be a carp. Big, big, heavy carp. Oh, there's a number, there's a little, uh, I about called it a number four. There's a number four there, a level four. Got a level four anyway. We're like freaking leagues away from our decoys right now. This might be our last flock before, um, might be our last flock before we have to switch over to Fishing Planet, everyone, for some giant catfish. Brotato's got to go. Hey, take care, Brotato. I don't know if it, if everyone here could be uh, would be a fish. What what do you think that you would be? Uh, a giant ghost carp in the UK. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Fire Blazer is here. How's it going, Fire Blazer? Been watching. Don't know if you know him, but it's can I uh, rage quit fishing plant? Yeah, if you rage quit fishing plant, you're not very good at games. <laughs> No, I, I have heard of him, and I actually did watch his Fishing Planet video because uh, people were talking about it. But uh, he wasn't very good at fishing, and he said that he'd never wake up early to go fishing. So uh, I don't, I'm not really sure, not really sure what to think about that. Did we really miss that one twice? Golly, man, that flock was gonna be so big. Why'd they take off? They got scared of something. <sighs> How do you follow, Jackson Fisher? How do you follow? Hit the subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Yeah, all my animations are set up for, uh, ooh, that was a level four. 8.4, actually, it's big enough for the lodge. 
big enough for the lodge almost a diamond only point one away um oh there's another flock of geese gosh dang man so many geese a musky a big catfish oh, a giant trevally you would be a big sturgeon Make sure my shotgun's all loaded up right now. Jean-Luc Raymond. Jean-Luc Raymond. How's it going? How much more time until Fishing Planet? Literally one minute, man. One. Oh, no. No, no time. No time. I think we might. We might. Uh, we might chase down this one flock here. Take advantage of this one last flock here. And then, uh. Then uh, I think we'll switch on over to Fishing Planet. Come here, geese. That was like a European style hunt there. Well, unfortunately, the other ones are kind of far away now. Good deal. Well, we uh, we took care of them, didn't we? A blunt nose minnow. That's a good one. <laughs> That's great. Good choice. Because eat everything and hide constantly. That's perfect. A huge tiger muskie? Ooh. Ooh. Alright, so we spent a little bit of time out here hunting some geese. Remind you that we did have, uh, after we got the tents and uh, got them all set up, and then we came over here. To uh, hunt a few more geese. We had $2,400 at the time. Just gonna run over here and make sure that we have everything. Oh, thank you, Jackson. Appreciate it. Look at you going, man. Look at me going. I'm going, bro. I'm going. May uh, survey the area, make sure we got all of our geese. Started out with $2,400 when we came back from uh, setting up those tents, and now we have a tight $16,400. So we made about $14,000 in about 15 minutes not too bad it's almost a thousand dollars a minute i guess that's okay hey not too shabby anyway i say that we're gonna switch over to fishing planet now which people seem to enjoy um a few people anyway every once in a while every every so often you know a few times a month people tell me they're like bo i enjoy that one game you play can't think of it um fishing fishing something and I'm like fishing in their like fishing world. I'm like, no, that's what I was when I was thinking. Uh, fishing Earth. Oh, maybe, maybe. Well, you like this little rectangle here? Like, uh, whoa, right here. Ding, 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 ding. Um, doesn't look very good when I don't have a game in there, does it? Let's uh fix that here real quick. Love your content and in real life vlogs. Well, thank you, Andrew. Appreciate it. You're gonna go grind Fishing Planet? Oh my goodness. Vuji along! And Derek Malovich took him downtown and book him. Whoa. Took him downtown and book him. Derek Malovich in the house. How's it going there? There's the goose. I didn't even see that up there. Good deal. There's the goose. There's the goose. We saw a few, f saw a few geese anyway, didn't we? <laughs> Someone gave a dislike. I know, I know. Must have been one of those people who showed up and they were like, Your stream says Fishing Planet? This is not Fishing Planet. I have played Fishing Planet a few times and I can tell you, it does not have any guns, sir. It does not have any guns. You cannot shoot animals in the game. So I should be able to tell you that this is not Fishing Planet. Third, third, third. No. Um, but we are going to be going over... To how much? We made 25,000 there. A tight 25,000 there. Not too shabby. Tight 25k fishing for some flatheads and some alligator gar over at Quanchkin Lake. And now we're going to be going over to St. Croix. St. Croix for some blue catfish. 
Oh, we, we actually made 52,000 there. My bad. 52,25. What's the difference? What's the difference? Someone do the math. Do you do the math? You tell me. Got a few. Oh, Brotato. Ah, oh, Brotato with the friend request. Um. So, fish species, let's look it up. Blue catfish. Uh, they're a fan of leeches, medium cub bait, shiners, large minnows, and crawfish. We have got the majority of that stuff. Let's see here. I don't know what size of hook to use, though. Should we start out with sevens and go up from there? Could use, actually, you know what we should do? A little experimentation. Let's do uh, seven on one. We'll, uh, we'll do eight on another. Nine on this one. And we'll put 10 on this one, just for just for laughs. <laughs> uh, mix it up, you know. Um, so medium cut, they said medium cut bait. We have huge cut bait. Medium cut bait, we'll put some large cut bait in there. Uh, do we have any leeches? I can't remember if we have leeches. Oh, there's some leeches, we'll throw them in here. Um, we'll just kind of mix it up. A little bit of, uh, you know, stab and go kind of stuff. Uh, let's put on some... Um, We'll put on leeches on this one, and we got, so what do we got? We got a we got a frog, we got a crawfish, we got leeches, and let's go ahead and put large cut bait on the last one, just to mix it up. I know if I was going for a big blue catfish in real life, I would be using some large cut bait or or a live fish, and then uh, if I caught a flathead accidentally, I would be okay with it. But uh, let's go ahead and try this Saint Croix Lake for some big blues. Give me them big blues. All right. Let's catch up with the chat, though. What is your name on Fishing Planet? It is the one password. It's the one password. If you know, if you've been watching me ever, uh, which some of uh, some of you are new, so I understand. But it's the one password. You gotta know my username to to uh, send me a friend request, which is pretty easy to tell because it shows up in my streams all the time, and it's pretty normal. <laughs> Alrighty, I don't really want to take the big boat. I think we'll take the old the old Frankenfish kayak Come on Frankenfish kayak. We have we have some fishing to do Can they go for big blues big blues? One stream, but two games cool Russ, you know it man Caden Dickinson, can I accept the friend request? I'll, I'll certainly look for it Spear fishing and fishing planet good idea bad idea thoughts uh, I'm pretty strict when it comes to fishing the term the term fishing I realize that people kind of think that if you're going after fish then that's considered fishing because fishing has fish in the word I'm very strict on that I, I, I am usually of the uh, of the thought that if you're not using a rod and reel you're not fishing you're just going for fish and if, if, if you're using a bow or if you're using a spear or something of the sort then you're, you're basically hunting for fish at that point you know you think about a deer you're going out you're finding a deer you're gonna shoot a bow at it and that's called hunting but for some reason when it's a fish that you're shooting a bow at it's called fishing doesn't make any sense it should be called hunting for fish but you know what 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 can I say you know some people just like to make up their own rules evidently they don't ever think about what old BZ hub thinks about it but you know what <laughs> whatever makes them happy all right we're gonna start fishing during the day might be a horrible idea we'll just have to see we have four rods we're gonna throw out here all different hooks all different baits and we're just gonna see what we catch really see big swells over here let's throw out two over here oh they're all over the place so that's my number seven rod number six rod we'll throw over here big swells number five rod I know that there's some big swells that show up over here too so I'm gonna throw gosh they are really wanting us to throw it there though so I throw another one there and we're gonna throw one oh that was not what I wanted to do and well, I'm just totally going against my original plan here we'll throw that one there 
And we'll wait uh, five minutes or so. If we don't get any bites, then we'll uh, switch. If anything, we can just go to nighttime and just fish at nighttime because everyone likes fishing for catfish at nighttime. I just figured we would try to catch one during the day. So this is my attempt. Don't judge me so much. Try large minnows, Timothy Descartes. You know, I only had four rods and I could only choose four different baits. But uh, large minnows is a good choice as well. In fact, we could just go ahead and uh, throw out one of these. Put a large minnow on it. See if we catch anything. We'll probably have to turn the leader really deep though. Throw it on a hundred. Oh! That was a serious nibble there. And we're just taking it. Well, I think we got our first blue on here. There we go. Little guy on the number seven hook there. Number seven odd hook, I should say. Oh my gosh, and now the minnow is gone. Woo wee! So we got one on the frog, one on the large minnow so far. This was on a match rod as well. I can see him down there. See him swimming around? <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, water's clear. Finally got Rancho and loving it so far. Cole Sarkey, right on. Got an unlimited advanced license for Everglades. Dude, well done. That's nice. Oh, slowly going up. 23 to 30 here. Still on the seven knot hook, I should, I should say. Let's see. Go back. Let's get that fourth rod back out there. What prehistoric fish would you be? Oh, Price Bendick. Good question. I, I honestly can't think of what it's called off the top of my head. Let me let me see. Let me see. Just give me a second. It's actually. Uh, whenever I think of a prehistoric fish, it's exactly what I think of. Um, but I honestly don't know what it's called. Can't remember. Yes. Nothing cooler than that guy. I don't know how to, I don't even know how to say it. Dun Dunkleostis. Should we just go with that? Dunkleostis? When I first saw- I remember when they, uh, I feel like I remember- let me see this right here. Yeah, I guess not. But I remember hearing about it for the first time. I was like a little kid. And I just thought that it was so cool. I like the, the picture of the, the head or whatever with its giant jaws that could just slice something in half. Like, I just thought that was so cool. You missed the hunter call the wild gameplay. No. Yeah, we always play that in the first half between 7.30 and 8.30 p.m. Central on Monday. So Jean-Luc, that's that's where you can view that, man. But you can also watch it after after the stream. You can watch it from the very beginning. Uh, we better throw that other rod out, eh? Caught us that one fish. Let's uh, let's go up to an 8-aught hook now. We caught one on the 7-aught. Let's throw an 8-aught on there. See if that changes our luck at all. We're way out there now. As I watch your video, I've been trying to get, catch it for a while. Well, right on, Eddie Outdoors. Good catch. The Pike Slasher. That's a fun one. The Hash Slinging, Clash Singing pike slasher that's a good one i remember that 9.5 pound bowfin on everglades well dang that's a good size one spencer the great high how are you chris is gonna play some fishing plan sounds good what about spearfishing and call of the wild absolutely sounds good to me that would be fun i think bow you know if, if you could do bow hunting for fish on the hunter call of the wild i think that would be a great place for it as well they already have bows in the game. Now you just need to have fish that you can shoot. You know? What's up, boss man? That big heifer. Oh my goodness gracious. Boss man? Who are you talking about, crazy? Um, not a whole lot, though. Fishing for catfish. 
St. Croix, I believe, indeed. Lone Star Lake right now, getting bass for money. Sounds good to me, Caden. Sounds like a perfectly good use of time. Six deer, two moose in under four minutes. They just kept coming back in the Hunter Call of the Wild. That sounds awesome. Hopefully you were on a tripod, because if not, you could have, you could have possibly deleted a need zone somewhere. Hopefully not, though. What would your dream hunt be? You know, people ask me this all the time, and I, and I honestly don't have a dream hunt. Um, I don't, I don't really know. I don't really dream of hunting anything. <laughs> Unless I was hunting it with a rod and reel. Um, I don't dream of, well, it's a little bit fatter. A little bit fatter. Trophy blue, up to 50 pounds now. 623 XP, okay. I see you, trophy blue. Getting a little bit bigger. Come on, come on. Man, these other rods really aren't doing much, are they? We've got two fish on this match rod so far. Maybe it's the bait we're using. So far, we've caught one on the frog and two on the large minnows. We might have to switch it up if the large minnows are uh, are are doing it it correct i guess i don't <laughs> yeah if they're biting on the large minnows we're good. we'll have to try switching over to that is what i was trying to say um missed most of your stream oh man dream hunt though man if i had to choose a dream hunt what would it be You know, I I had always thought my um, my dad had always wanted to go on a red stag hunt in New Zealand. Um, so I think if I had a dream hunt that someone said, you know, pick a place and and you can go there and go hunting, I would choose that. I would choose a, a New Zealand red stag hunt and just take my dad and let him and let him get a red stag. Because he's all, ever since I was a little kid, he's always talked about how, how cool that would be to go to New Zealand and, and hunt one of those giant red stag in that beautiful countryside that New Zealand has. And uh, yeah, I think that would be cool. So that would be my dream hunt, to go on a red stag hunt with my dad. Miss most of your stream? Oh man. Half of the stream anyway. At least. It's 7.30 where you're at. Oh my gosh, you must be in the mountain time zone or something like that. Where are you at? We are in the heart of Kansas. Good old Kansas, middle of the United States. Triple L's in the house and Amogus. Amogus, how's it going? Got a seven pound channel catfish Saturday in real life. Bro, well done. Once you get over five pounds on a channel cat, it feels pretty good. They're good sized catfish, are they not? Then once you get over 10 pounds, then you're like, oh, wow, this is a really nice size catfish. I think if you get over 10 pounds on a channel cat, then people start to be pretty impressed. So you are close, man. Here in Missouri, but you have to pay to hunt. Yeah, I'm not about that life. <laughs> I am of the crowd that wishes we could just get rid of the whole paid hunt system. Whoop! Had a nibble. Whoa, there he goes. I see him down there. Whoa, another fat guy. Another 49 pound trophy blue catfish, one pound lighter than the last one we got. Still on the eight, eight aught hook there. Maybe we ought to go to nine aught. I don't know. What do you think? Is that too risky? Is that too risky to go up to the nine aught? We're doing it. I'm a risk taker. I, I take, I take the risks. People ask me all the time. They're like, well, well, well how do you take all these risks? And I just tell them. I tell them plain. I'm a risk taker. That's, that's what I do. I'm about taking the risks. A nine knot hook for a blue catfish, people go, no, you wouldn't try that, would you? And I go, yes, I would. Yeah, just, just you wait. 
8.47 p.m. where you are. Ooh, yeah, right around me too. Good deal. Bye, Eric Davis is off. Uh, and Fishplant, do you think it's cool if you have a bow with a real connect to the arrow? Uh, no, Bryce Bendick. I don't think that would be cool. <laughs> I think I would go as far to say that if you're I'm trying to I'm trying to think I'm trying to think if there are times where this wouldn't apply but if you are shooting or stabbing something maybe you'd call a hook stabbing I don't know Wait, what if we called uh, the verb for hook could be hooking instead of stabbing a thrust. I'll go a thrust. How about that? If you are thrusting or shooting something, we, we could uh, we could clarify that as hunting. How about thinking about getting ultimate fishing sim? Is it worth it? Um, it's fun if you're bored. You know, if you're if if uh, if fishing planet's getting boring or if it's too slow or something like that, you know, I would compare Ultimate Fishing Sim to Hunting Simulator. It's good for a few hours of fun, um, maybe a day or two, and then after that, then after that, you're like, okay, that was cool, but I'm ready to move on. <laughs> Level 16 fishing plan, Mason Parsley, roll right on. And may I say, no, I won't even say that. I won't even say. A47, Bethany last says, you're in Minnesota. Okay, right on. You hate when you catch a fish and it disconnects you. <gasps> disconnects you. I'm on the lake opposite side of the earth. Oh my goodness. The complete opposite side. Why did I read lake? Well, V is on the complete opposite side of the earth. Oh my goodness gracious. Is the stream still till 9.30? It is indeed. We still got about 39 minutes left, so we are good to go. Ender Keys is off. How do you have an alarm on your rod holder? Um, we just have a nice rod holder, I guess. We have a nibble on the 9 on. Tense, tense situation watching this little bobber. It stops every so often and you think, ah. Hook lip piercing. <laughs> Do you not have bells on your fishing poles? I do not. I have alarms, Justin. <laughs> We're going carp style here. Anthony Jack High. Uh, I would assume pay to pay to hunt since red stags are not native to uh, to Missouri. They have elk in Missouri. We actually we actually have their uh, their uh, hunting and fishing and camping permit software in Missouri we we help out with all of that so fairly I'm fairly in with the now in Missouri as far as wildlife is concerned what are the ba those bars by the real speed the bars by the real speed uh, in the circle or the three or the three uh, bars over here on the side well, this guy didn't fight at all 21 pounds. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I'm gonna go back down to an 8. I think that's fairly telling to me. Let's go ahead and reel these all in. I think we're gonna go to uh, nighttime. I'm gonna switch these number 10s and number 9s to uh, number 8 as well. We'll give that a go. In the circle. That is my drag. So, uh, if you're wanting to create more drag on the fish, you can up the drag. 
and that that's what all those little uh, those little bars in the circle go. So uh, next time I catch a fish, I'll show you exactly what I mean. But uh, oh shoot, this is still cast. Isaac's in Kentucky, right on. What do you think of people who go for Asian carp with a bow who know the difference between common carp and don't go for common carp? That's fine by me. I I don't like silver carp and big head carp because they don't go after any bait. They don't go after bait and the only way you can really get them is like tricking them into going for a, a spoon or something like that or snagging them. Like that's that's fine by me. So that's no fun and, and it's not helpful for the ecosystem if if we can't even catch a fish. Like otherwise it's just gonna get overpopulated and which is exactly what the silver carp and big head carp do, so <laughs> it's not good. Alright, here we go. We're switching over to night time. Oh, it's a terrible night time, but we're still gonna try it. Okay. Let's get this out by George. By George, we got some catfish to catch. There's a swell out there. Do we have any swell? Oh, we do have lots of swells over here. Okay. Right over here. Oh yeah, there's lots of them. Lots of them, man. If we don't catch anything over here, there is something wrong. Something wrong. Here we go. Make sure we got plenty of poles out here. Rods, if you will. How are your dogs? I, their dogs are doing great. Thanks for asking. They were absolute uh, pain in the butts today on their on their run. Uh, I don't know why, but about a third of the way through the run, Bjorn uh, forgot how to run or something like that, and just decided that he wanted to stop and smell everything. Of course, Oslo is just following Bjorn blindly, so every time Bjorn stops to smell something, he gets confused and is like, Are we on a run, or are we stopping to smell things? It just hurts my head thinking about this. And so it just like Oslo like stops and like slicks his ears back and just looks at me like so confused every time Bjorn stops when we're on the run. And um, yeah, and I have this little conjoiner thing that like I have my leash and then it like splits off to both of them. So I always feel like I'm a covered wagon and I have my two dogs out in front of me, but today, because Bjorn kept stopping on everything, they were behind me, and so I was just pulling them the entire time. It was awful. It was it was very awful. Oh, you know what we never did? We never reeled these, we never put the eight-aught hooks on. Dang it. Let's put those on. Pain in the butt this morning during your beauty sleep. Yeah, they were. They were kind of barking early this morning. Okay, let's put on the eight odds here. Oh, that's still a nine odd. Eight odds and an eight odd. Well, our first fish on. On the frog. Okay, so let's show you what this drag is. If I were to lower this drag, see how the meters, those three meters, keep going lower until the fish is starting to pull. But if I raise the drag, the meters should start going up because the tension on the rod, or the reel and the rod and the line and all that, are going up. But this guy is... See, there we go. Now now he's pulling, so we should see... Now you can see the meters going down as I decrease the drag. As I raise the drag, though, the tension's going up. So those bars in the bottom right are showing you the tension on the reel and on the line and on the rod all, all together um, because they're all connected, obviously. As, the, uh, as you tighten the reel, then the line gets tightened, so the, the line tension goes up, and because the line tension goes up, the rod starts bending, so the rod has tension. And so everything has tension, and if everything is, is, uh, is, is put together correctly, then they should all be even with each other, which is what these three are. It's a, it's a perfectly even rod, and it was, uh, it was made that way, to be even. It's a 53, 52.9 pound reel or, or rod. The reel is 53 pounds, I want to say. We'll just have to see. 49 pound trophy there. Let's see here. 
53.3 on the reel, 52.9 on the rod, um, and then 53 pound braid. So it is basically a perfectly even rod um, as far as reel line and, uh, and rod goes. So it's one of the rare occasions in Fishing Planet where you can do something like that. Your sister just bought you wings, you lucky dog. Goodness gracious, I wish I had a sister who would buy me wings. I just have a brother who doesn't buy me wings at all. Cyber River, any tips? Yeah. I don't know if I have that. I don't think so. I think the Tiber River is the one place I haven't been. Do you have your queen? Six pound largemouth, well, right on. Any uniques yet? No, we haven't. We've caught a few trophies though. Check your snap. Ooh, your snap. On the Amazon, you made making 30K profit. Hey, we were definitely, we were definitely there at one point, making, making a good, a good bit of money. I think, uh, I think we caught one fish that gave us $24,000. With a unique, uh, uh, Traira. Unique Traira gave us $24,000, I want to say. Weighed like 72 pounds or something like that. That was a big fish. Good, good fish paid so much money. It was crazy. So going off that, you got 6,000 from something else, evidently. A zero leash manners and we'll drag you. Oh, man. Judo, yo, how's it going? Anything good in the Hunter Call of the Wild? No, oh, not a whole lot. We, uh, we caught, well, we caught. We, uh, shot a bunch of geese. We set up a few tents for the, uh, Great One Grind. But that's about it. That's about it. What's ESS? -S? Well, it's EESS. -S. Stands for Emerald Lake, Everglades, San Croix, and San Joaquin. Those are the four places to go to to make money in XP to level up fast in the game. But uh, it's just whatever. But, you know, mix that in with things that's fun to you. <laughs> How many Oscars could you fit? No uniques yet. Yeah, well, no, we haven't caught any uniques yet, unfortunately. So we should get the old, uh, get the old match rod out here. We were doing okay with the old match rod. Oh, there's some. I'm gonna reel this in. Do we have to glow in the dark? Do we have to glow in the dark, Bobber? We do not. Okay. Hope you and your family are doing well today. Oh, sleep is key. Well, thank you so much. I believe they are. I believe they are. I've talked to a few of them today. Everyone seems to be doing okay. BZ is the wingless man. That can be like my Greek fighter name. Like, like, uh, Achilles and stuff. They'll call me the wingless man. Oh, no. You are going into battle with the wingless man. No! Wing what is what does that even mean, wingless man? You don't want to know. It is horrible. Twenty-eight pound blue cabbage. That's not great. That's not great, is it? Throw this out here, and by the time it reaches over here, we'll have a fish. Let it drift along. Where are you fishing, BZ? Or fishing at Saint Croix? Hey, that one's all right. Naharan's a great place to go to as well. But you don't have any space. Oh, man. Better switch to a new day, Tennessee. Better switch to a new day, Tennessee. Frogs unlock. I would have so much more money in the Everglades. Oh, would you? Would you? Yeah, the frog lures are pretty great. They're pretty fun. Hindsight is in the chat. Captain Hindsight. Hey, BZ, you should have set up your geese differently when you were hunting them. Thank you, Hindsight. We'll do that later. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Jackson. I appreciate it. Are you on multiplayer? Can you accept my friend request? I, I can. Oh, no, I can't while my rod is cast. So, after, after this, though. 
if I remember. I'm terrible at remembering. Short-term memory. Can you say hi to you, Citizen Bro Gaming? I, I try to say hi to everyone. I just need to reach you on the chat. Sorry, you're late. Baseball again. Taven. Do you know how dark it is outside? You can't play baseball. It's not like they have lights around the stadium or something like that. It's dark. Stop playing baseball. You'll get hit in the head and be hurt. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Enough space, just not for my uni era pima I just pulled out. Oh man. You know, that's the thing, Tennessee. Every time we caught an uni era pima, we always had space for it. So you just need to be a better fit, you know, once you're a good angler as us, you know, you never have to worry about that. There are lights. <gasps> what? They should change the practices the Tuesday and Thursday. You race cars at night? Oh, that sounds dangerous. It's not like cars have lights or something. It's dark out. You'll get hurt. Don't do that. Stay home. Play Fishing Planet. Or the Hunter Call of the Wild. Gnarly Acid Reflux. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> no way! Dragonfly! The Dragonfly is back! And he's giving us good luck! Thank you, Mr. Dragonfly! Bigger, they get bigger. Ah, oh, see, there you go. That's what I'm talking about, Carson Peters. It's dangerous. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's why I stay home, fishing planet. Cause I have a light. Name the dragonfly Ted. All right. The purple and pink dragonfly is now Ted. Mr. Dragonfly, yay! Definitely gonna catch a fish now. <laughs> what is going on? It's going all over the place now. Ding! It is cross-platform, it's just not very, it's just not very... Oh, there it goes. Right when I let a little bit of line out, it went. This is because of Ted the Dragonfly. Thank you, Ted. It's not very big, but thank you. Appreciate it. I don't know why we're not- we're just- just not, just not catching many fish right now. It's crazy. Let's get back in the old Frankenfish kayak. Try a different night. See, there's so many swells on this side. I'm so surprised we're not catching any big fish. Let's try this side. I'm waiting. The first swell I see will be the sign. <gasps> it's telling us we need to fish over here again. I just don't know about it, man. I just don't know. You keep telling me we need to be fishing over here, but we're just not... You know what, let's just switch to large minnows. Every fish we've caught so far, I feel like we've caught on the large minnow, so let's just switch to large minnows. Huh? Huh? Well, we've also caught one on the frog, though, so maybe we should put another frog on. We'll do two frogs and two large minnows. How about that? Right down the middle. Split it down nice and simple, eh? Nice and simple. It's you again, John Harry. Hello. This is my life, BZ. It's not your life. You have a choice. You don't, don't you spend it like that. Don't you die on us racing at nighttime without any headlights. 
Don't do it. It's not worth it. It's your life. We care about you. All right, look at this little frog spinning around. Crazy. Crazy frogs these days. I'm teaching my son how to drive. Get off the road, everybody. Oh my gosh. Big heifer. What have you done? Releasing a monster like that onto the road. Kidding. We all remember those days. First, first time driving around with our parents. My goodness. I don't know how we did it. Lucky you get to play these cool games. You know, fishing plants free. If you want to play, you just have to download it and play. It's your birthday. You're turning 12. John Harry, happy birthday. Happy birthday. I don't, we need to have like a BZ Hub birthday song. Need to edit something for that. Well, this dude's small. <sighs> What's the deal, huh? Very true, cars and Peters. You're like welded in that car. You're welded? That sounds so dangerous. Welding, oh, it's, it's hot. You could easily burn yourself and you're welding yourself into the car. So dangerous, Carson Peters. No way, Jose. Been dealing with COVID, still not 100%, but I'm getting there. Hope all is well for you, by the way. Love your in real life videos, super cool. Dennis Harris, thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Look at this guy. Getting a bite on the frog. Well, they're just really liking the frog today. Not a super big one, but eh? Sticking to the 20 some pound catfish. That's cool. That's cool. thinking we need to try some other spots because even though even though we thought that these spots would be great they're just not they're just not great and you know we just we should probably try something else 95 pound bull shark Ooh, very cool mason turn 12 on st patrick's day Ooh, okay two dislikes are highly illegal <laughs> where are you at we're at st croix right now spencer Favorite adult drink. Oh my gosh. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. Blue monster. I, I, as an adult, I love drinking blue monsters. It's my, it's my thing. I ask for a sponsorship from monster every so often. They say they only, you know, uh, sponsor extreme athletes and stuff like that. And I say, I play Fishing Planet. It doesn't get much more extreme than that, you know, but uh, they're just uh, doing their own thing. What can I say? What is going on? What is going on in here? Oh my. Trying to back it up. Trying to back it up. Who is this? Who is this, huh? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna bite a little bit off. I'm gonna bite a little bit off and eat that. Huh? Here, bite it off. Yes, sir. Oh, double appearance. Double appearance. Oh. Oh. You can go see a friend. You're outside. It's a little wet. Oh, you are a little wet. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can bite it off, can't you, buddy? Oh, and we have a fish nibbling. Fish nibbling. A fish nibbling. How are you, buddy? Two happy boys. Three. Four. Four. Four happy Four boys. Four happy boys. 
to say hi? Huh? You always freak out. You always freak out when I try to pick you up and show you why. Come yeah, on, big boy. Hi. You gonna say hi to everyone? Hmm? Did we go on a run today? He's like, I'm Miss Bjorn. He has done this since he was a puppy. Over here, look this way. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Bjorn says, ah, there's probably some treats up here. They wanted to say hi. Yeah, no doubt. Well, everyone loves seeing him anyway. All right, puppies. Ted was here. We got another meeting to go to. Let's go. All right. Go talk to the peasants. Royalty. The ah. royal. Royalty has yes, always talk to the darn peasants. Oh, we gotta zoom in. Zoom in and there we go. That's better. That's better. Oh, and King Bjorn. Dennis Harris is a hub master. What? Thank you so much, Dennis. That's crazy. Appreciate it. That is so awesome. Another hub master. Oh, I gotta change. I gotta change my outro for my videos now. Thank you so much, Dennis. Really appreciate that. That's awesome. Well, goodness gracious. Got to see my two dogs, and now now Dennis Harris becomes a hub master. Well, right on. So cool. Good old Norwegian elk. Yeah, very true. Very true indeed. John Harry's got two dogs, too. Bruiser and Storm. Very nice. Taven's got two cats. Ooh. We grew up with cats, too. We had, uh... We always had... Oh god, we always had two cats, and then um, and then we had a few dogs. The dogs changed over time, though, uh, obviously. But um, but yeah, it was fantastic. My favorite little drink is Monster Pacific Punch, and I'm only 14. No, Jackson Zollinger, you cannot drink Monster. You're not an adult. Illegal, illegal. Time to brush your teeth. Hopefully, you don't choke on mouth. Oh my gosh, better not sleep is key, because if you choke. And you might not sleep. And if you don't sleep very well, it's not good because sleep is key. You know, it's key to having a great tomorrow, I guess. <laughs> uh, you also have three chickens as well. Dang! Six dogs, three cats, four rabbits, and fish. Oh my goodness. You slam bangs. Bangs are bad. Don't bangs have creatine in them? Uh, I had one bang one time, and it was it made me so jittery. I was like, I don't I'm, I don't ever want to drink a bang ever again. It was bad. <laughs> Monster is the way to go for me. Any way to turn brightness up in game? You know the thing is, is that I actually have a filter on my uh, on my fishing planet to actually make it brighter, and uh, and it's still it's still dark. So, you know what I mean? So you can see a little bit better now might be a little crazy the next time we uh, bring it up though okay decided to do your own thing there he eh? all right we obviously need to cast somewhere else because this is not working let's try back side let's try this side and we'll be more lucky over here Spoil your favorite streamer somehow. Well, thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate that. That's awesome. Made my night. No, I want the number six rod. I want the number six rod. A hub master. Hub master is the top tier membership for the BZ hub. It's really awesome. Top tier. Top, top. Pushing the big 40. Ooh, the big 40, eh? I was awake for the rest of the night. That, that can happen, Jean-Luc. 
That can't have it. I remember growing up and uh, and Red Bulls came out for the first time. And I remember getting Red Bulls with my friends. That was that was like the whole like, oh my gosh, can't tell mom and dad we're drinking Red Bulls. We're going to be up for the whole night, man. It's going to be crazy. We would always fall asleep at like two or three in the morning. But it was still fun. Cody, thank you so much for the sub, Cody. You're like, gonna ever make it on the PGA Tour, and I win, I win. If you a million dollars, is that a million? Thank you so much, John Harry. Well, my brother and I love playing golf too, so I don't think we'll ever win a million dollars though. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Kendall Gray. Oh God. I won't say any I won't say anything mean, but okay, sounds good, Taven. I guess I'll take that. I can't really do much about it. Hey, how's it going, Rodney, eh? How's it been? Well, this fishing trip has been kind of lame. We've tried this side where there's giant swells everywhere. And we've tried this side where there's giant swells over here. We have not caught a big fish at all. And I don't know what else to try. We've tried every bait that we can think of. We've caught we've caught fish on frogs and we've caught fish on large minnows. And that's what we're using right now. They're just not biting right now. Big heifer's getting old. Broke your arm casting a sling. Oh my gosh. It's too dangerous. Too dangerous, Bryce. Food at 10, 10 o'clock could be worse. Oh my goodness. Just made level 38 and unlocked Kanee Creek, Alaska. Well, right on. We have 10 more minutes to catch a unique blue. We are failing completely right now. Maybe this is the night we need to try. We're switching to another night already. Alrighty. It is probably our last night as we only have nine minutes left in the game. Let's try this, huh? Okay, got an ADOT with a minnow here. Now, I, you know, I'm going off the books. Going off the books, I'm putting chicken liver on some. I'm gonna do, we'll do, so we have a minnow on this one, a large minnow, we have a frog on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and put, um, I don't know. Should we go back to the leeches or should we go to huge cut bait? We're gonna try some different stuff. Dennis Harris, let's catch a giant cat. Thank you so much, Dennis. Bro, you're, you are spoiling me. Crazily. Thank you so much, dude. Alrighty. Dennis Harris, man. Throw that down. Got a large minnow we'll throw over here. And then I think I'm gonna do something wacky and just throw one right here. Off this side. And then with this last one, we'll throw it over here. Rush twice a day, heck yeah. I think it's time for the old pike spot. <laughs> Just completely forget about catfish. Going for pike now. The catfish aren't working, we're gonna go for pike. <laughs> oh shoot, didn't mean to pick that up. Hey, well that's fish on. Little fish, but still fish on the huge cut bait and the barbless eight. Your fish net is about to wear out. No, it's not. Bro, how long have we had this fish net? Oh, you're kidding me. All right, that's fine. We just have to make sure that we don't keep many fish. 
It can last for seven more minutes and then we'll and then we'll end the stream and I'll fix it. <laughs> Oh, I drink a lot of coffee, too. Christian Austin, how's it going? As I've been catching trophy largemouth bass in the Heron River and fishing planet. Hey, that's a good place to be, John Harry. I, I saw that Jay Gaming, yeah. Very cool. $3,000 say I had to, to buy a washer and dryer today. Quit. Oh, that's horrible, big heifer. Yeah, that's never fun. I remember we had to, um, we, uh, we were out in the yard working and, uh, and it had rained like a, a day or two before and the sump pump obviously pumps out water, but it was still pumping out water like three days later and people walking by were like, do you have any sort of like flooding going on because your sump pump is pumping out water a lot and we were like yeah well it just rained a few days ago so we just figured it was still pumping out water well i take a look down the crawl space and it is gushing water um like crazy and um i realized that we had a flood um our our pipe had broke um, leading to the house the main water vein had broke and because it was on our property we had to pay for it even though it was the city's water vein so you know that was that was a quick like three to four thousand dollars just gone in a day it's just it's just sickening that's why you always have to have money in savings because just like that like our water bill was going to skyrocket if we didn't fix it so so we didn't have water for like a week as they fixed it. It was a heck of a deal. Zach remembers that. Just bought a bass boat, Mason says. We'll ride on. Man, I do not know what the deal is. We are just not catching those cats right now. Hey, don't you worry about it, man. Tips are nice, but I never, never ask it, ask it from anyone. Just, just nice people like Dennis. Thank you again, Dennis. Ah, oh, five minutes, Bryce says. Yeah, four minutes now by the time I read it. How's it going, Pure Fish again asks. It's going okay. We haven't caught a darn unique blue yet, which is frustrating. We've fished three different nights. We're fishing four different areas couple of different baits oh 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 if this one actually goes that's the second one we've caught over here there's no swells over here but it's gonna be our second fish we've caught over here the bobber just got a nibble do we have the bloodhound and the hunter call the water we do uh, we do indeed yeah Number one. Aw, thanks, John Harry. Appreciate it. Suit 74 is back. Good deal. Well, at least I'm someone's number one YouTuber. <laughs> I have one friend. I've stayed up too late. You've stayed up too late and realized you only have one friend? What? You have all of us. We're all of your friends. Oh, goodness. Oh, 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 oh. Is it gonna go? Oh, you pain. You're getting ex us excited about nothing. People catch unique catfish like that. Oh, evidently. Yeah, because we're just struggling. We're struggle busting. Right, we'll build it back up. Yeah, I understand that. That's how it works. Two minutes left. Will we catch a unique? Probably not.
Have we caught a trophy flathead before? I think we caught one this last stream. We caught, I don't even know how many uniques we caught. We caught like seven unique flatheads, but I think we caught some trophies in between. Fishing plan and grind to get to the next level. Sounds good. After uh, after the stream here on Fishing Plan, I'm gonna switch on over to Red Dead and create another episode so I can send it to an editor <laughs> and hopefully have it ready for Friday while I attempt to get a video out by Thursday because I totally messed up and I'm definitely not gonna have a video out tomorrow, which I always hope to get one out on Tuesdays, but it's not gonna work out tomorrow. So. You're moving to a farm, eh? Ooh, well, fun. After the stream, you're gonna get ice cream? Oh, hello. You're just making me, you're just making me jealous now. Kastada, you're from Thailand. You like watching me? Well, that's nice. Appreciate it. From Thailand, that's so cool. I don't think we I don't think we have anyone from Thailand on here. I don't think we we've had Indonesia, India, uh, on South America, Brazil and stuff like that. Bro, if we if this is a unique, wouldn't that just make the night? Right at 9:30 to get a unique blue right at the end. Come on. Oh, it's not. That is definitely not a unique. Sure is fighting though, for a small little guy that he is. Red Dead Red Timber is so good. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, it's a long. It takes a long time to edit videos that long, but uh, but people who enjoy it make it worth it. Yep, that is definitely not a unique. But a 37 pound blue catfish, I guess, is what we're gonna have to end it on, everyone. Goodness gracious. Well, that's okay. He knows happy about it, aren't you, He knows. All right, we're gonna release this guy so we don't break our keep net here, but that is gonna do it for us, everyone. Hopefully this was a fun little stream, catching some um, some blue catfish. Unfortunately, couldn't get a unique. I don't know, we couldn't, couldn't manage to get one. The game wasn't feeling very generous tonight, but that's okay. Who else is talking here? Let's see. You, t you stay up late and you tend to overthink stuff? Understandable. We're all guilty of that. Hunter's education teacher. Ooh, very cool, Bryce. I'm gonna hit the hay, sounds good. I'm gonna do some other stuff, but yeah, hopefully. Help your son learn to drive, hopefully you won't die. I, I, uh, I concur. I hope, hope not as well. I hope I can still watch your vids. I hope so too. That is the one, the one downside of those uh, rural areas, eh? The internet's not so great out there. Best fishing planet YouTuber on the planet. Mason Parsley, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Fishing a blue crab for the past few days with the Bass Boat Explorer Pack and today caught a 131 pound tarpon and some other uniques. Well, right on. It's been a good stream, very true. I, I think so anyway, Cars and Peters. All on the black and white buzz bait with the X-Series 4-inch nymph. Well, dang, that's pretty sweet. When will the next stream be? Wednesday, of course. Wednesday is going to be the next stream, of course. So we'll have that 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central. Hope to see most of you there. Or all of you. Uh, wish you could stream every day. I know. I wish I could, too. So it's time to binge watch your in real life. <laughs> oh, Dennis Harris. Sounds great, man. Appreciate it. Best YouTuber. Oh, now you're just spoiling me. Spoiling me with compliments. Adios. Good night. See you later. Hey, take care, everyone you've ever participated in well the room appreciate it hopefully we'll catch more of you next time and we'll chat some more but uh until then danae hess hi and uh we'll catch you in the next stream as always everyone remember one family game on